Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang solving non-linear systems of equations. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ay ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-solve ng non-linear systems of equations. So, kung maalala nyo, meron na akong naunang video about solving systems of linear equations. Kung saan yung mga equations na involved doon sa system ay puro linear, degree 1 lang. So, this time, non-linear systems of equations na yung solve natin. Ibig sabihin, yung mga equations na involved dito sa systems is at least second degree equations. Okay? So, pwedeng quadratic, cubic, fourth degree, and so on. Actually, pwede rin tayong magkaroon ng linear na isang equation, pero dapat meron tayong isa na non-linear. So, at least second degree nga. Okay? So, just like doon sa ating solving systems of linear equations, when we say solving non-linear systems of equations, is isasolve natin yung mga unknown variables na involved doon sa systems na magsasatisfy doon sa lahat ng bawat equations. Either two variables x, y, three variables x, y, z, and so on. Okay? So, yung solution dito sa non-linear systems of equations is, si ba kapag meron tayong systems of linear equations, meron tayong pwedeng maging isang solution, infinitely many solutions, or even no solutions. So, ganun din dito sa systems of non-linear equations. So, hindi nga lang tayo magiging sure kung kailan magiging ilan yung solution ng systems natin. So, pwedeng walang solution, pwedeng infinitely many solutions, pwedeng one solution lang din, or pwede rin maging at least two yung solutions natin. Especially, magkakaroon nga tayo ng at least one second degree equations dito sa systems. So, depende pa rin talaga sa magiging given equations dun sa system yung magdi-decide kung ilan yung number of solutions, kung meron man. Okay? Now, dito sa solving ng linear systems of equations, unlike doon sa systems of linear equations, kung saan meron tayong rules at or different steps na pwedeng sundin para masolve yung systems of linear equations. Dito sa ng linear systems of equations, wala tayong defined rules, kundi tayong bahala dumiskarte kung paano natin masasolve yung systems of linear equations. Pero usually, pwede natin gamitin dito yung substitution. Masasolve natin yung isang equation for one variable in terms of the other, then substitute natin sa isang equation. Sa isang technique yun. Pero, pero meron din ibang way, so yun yung ipapakita natin ngayon dito. Papakita natin kung paano yung mga different steps para masolve yung systems of non-linear equations. Okay? Okay, so to illustrate solving non-linear systems of equations, let's solve this first example. So, solve the system, y equals x squared, and 2x plus y equals 8. Okay, so makapansin nyo, meron tayong quadratic equation at linear equation. So, pwede natin gawin dito is, isubstitute natin ngayon itong y na nakasolve in terms of x, which is x squared, dito sa linear equation. So, pag ginawa natin, we have 2x plus, itong y papalitan natin ng x squared, equals 8. So, ang kinalabasan is quadratic equation, right? So, solve natin itong quadratic equation. Rearrange lang natin yung terms. So, x squared plus 2x then transpose 8 sa kabila minus 8 then equal to 0. So, factoring na lang. So, pwede siyang maging x times x and then 4, 2 so, positive, negative equal 0. Therefore, equating each factor to 0, we have x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x is equal to 2 and x plus 4 is equal to 0 or x is equal to negative 4. So, meron tayong two solutions. Yung una daw is x is equal to 1 and yung pangalawa is x is equal to negative 4. Okay? Now, para masolve si y, gamitin na lang natin kahit anong equation dito. Ito na lang equation 1. So, y is equal to, dito muna sa x is equal to 2. So, substitute natin yung x na 2, so 2 squared. So, y is equal to 2 squared or 4. So, therefore, one solution is 2 comma 4. Okay? Then, yung isang solution for x is equal to negative 4, substitute din natin dito sa y equals x squared. So, negative 4 quantity squared, y is equal to negative 4 quantity squared is 16. Right? So, therefore, another solution is negative 4, 16. So, yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, depende sa given equations yung magiging number of solutions natin. So, since meron tayong isang quadratic at isang linear, 
pwede silang mag-intersect at two points, right? For example, ito yung quadratic natin. Di ba pag quadratic parabola? Tapos, ito yung linear equation natin. So, mapapansin nyo, pwede silang mag-intersect at two points. So, ito yung case natin ngayon dito. Kaya, meron tayong dalawang solutions. Okay? Next, we have y minus x squared plus 2 equals 0 and y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 6x plus 7. Okay, so this time, meron tayong dalawang quadratic equations or second degree equations. So, pwede natin gawin, eh, since nakasolve itong y explicitly in terms of x dito sa second equation, substitute ngayon natin itong y in terms of x dito sa first equation. Okay? So, itong y, papalitan natin itong buong expression na to. So, negative 2x squared plus 6x plus 7. Then, copy natin yung remaining, minus x squared plus 2 equals 0. Okay, so quadratic. So, combine similar terms. Negative 2x squared minus x squared is negative 3x squared. Then, plus 6x plus 7 plus 2 is 9 equals 0. So, factor out natin yung negative 3 para mas maliit yung numerical coefficient. So, x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Okay, so pwede natin makancel itong negative 3 sa so magiging x squared minus 2x minus 3 equal 0 na lang. Sa so factoring na lang, so we have x, x, 3, 1, so negative, positive equal 0. So equating each factor to 0, we have x plus 1 is equal to 0 and x minus 3 is equal to 0. Solving for x, x is equal to transpose 1, negative 1, and x is equal to transpose 3, positive 3. So, again, meron tayong dalawang solutions for x. So, yung una is negative 1, tapos yung isa is positive 3. So, substitute ngayon natin dito sa equation na to. Diba? y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 6x plus 7. Yung mga nakuha natin x, plug in natin dito sa variable x. So, negative 2 times negative 1 squared plus 6 times negative 1 plus 7. So, we have negative 2 times negative 1 squared is parang negative 2 pa rin. Plus 6 times negative 1 is minus 6 plus 7. So, negative 2 minus 6 plus 7 is negative 1. Okay? So, therefore, one solution is at negative 1 comma negative 1. And the other solution, this time x is equal to 3 naman, substitute natin y is equal to negative 2 times 3 squared plus 6 times 3 plus 7. So, negative 2 times 3 squared is 9, right? So, ilan na to? Negative 18. Negative 18. Then, plus 6 times 3 is 18. Then, plus 7. So, cancel itong si 18. Matitira is 7. So, therefore, another solution is when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 7. So, 3 comma 7. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo, dahil meron tayong quadratic equations na dalawa sa system, pwede silang magkaroon ng dalawang solution. Halimbawa, ito yung graph ng isa. Tapos, ito yung graph nung isa. So, mapapansin nyo, pwede silang mag-intersect at two points. At yun yung magiging solutions nila. Okay? So, ito yung case natin dito sa example number 2. Okay? Next, we have x squared plus y squared minus 8y equals negative 7 and y minus x squared equals 1. Okay, so this time, ito sa unang equation natin, pareho nang naka-squared yung variable x at y. Which is, ano equation to? Equation to ng circle, right? Kasi paro silang one yung numerical coefficient at naka-add yung x squared tsaka y squared. Then, dun sa second equation, parabola lang. Okay? So, pwede natin gawin dito is, isolve natin itong x squared. So, transpose ko dito si x squared, tapos transpose ko dito si 1. So, y minus 1 is equal to x squared. And then, itong x squared, in terms of y minus 1 na lang siya, right? Tsaka ko ngayon isasubstitute dito sa x squared sa equation 1. So, pag ginawa natin, we have y minus 1, substitute yung x squared in terms of y, then plus, copy the remaining expression. y squared minus 8y equals negative 7. So, ang kinalabasan natin is parang quadratic equation in y. Okay, second degree. So, simplify natin. So, y squared, combine natin yung y minus 8y, we have negative 7y, and then itong constant, negative 1, then transpose si negative 7, plus 7 equals 0. Or, y squared minus 7y, plus 6 equals 0. Right? Then, factoring, we have y, y, 
6, 1, negative, negative equal 0. Right? Then, equating each factor to 0, we have y is equal to 1 and y is equal to 6. So, meron tayong two solutions for y, 1 and 6. So, ngayon, para masolve natin si x, gamitin natin yung nasolve nating expression for x squared. So, di ba, y minus 1 is equal to x squared. So, for the first solution, we have y is equal to 1. So, substitute natin si y na 1 dito sa equation. So, 1 minus 1 is equal to x squared. So, 1 minus 1 is 0 equals x squared. So, square root both sides, x is equal to square root of 0 is 0. So, therefore, one solution is 0, 1. Okay? And then, dito naman sa 6, substitute din natin dito, we have 6 minus 1 is equal to x squared. Or, 6 minus 1 is 5, equals x squared. Square root both sides, we have x is equal to... So, dahil nag-square root tayo, dapat meron tayong plus minus na value. Plus minus is square root of 5. So, dalawa. So, therefore, i-prepare natin itong 6 sa dalawang value ng x. Isang positive square root of 5, tsaka isang negative square root of 5. So, we have square root of 5, comma 6, and negative square root of 5, comma 6. So, therefore, meron tayong tatlong solutions. Yung 0, 1, square root of 5, comma 6, at negative square root of 5, comma 6. Okay, kasi diba, meron tayong circle tsaka parabola. So, pwedeng maging ganito yung graph niyan. So, pwede tayong magkaroon ng isang circle. And then, pwedeng 3 yung intersection nitong parabola dito sa circle. Pwedeng ganito. Okay? Isa dito, isa dito, tsaka isa dito. Actually, pwede siyang apat, diba? So, assuming ganito yung intersection ng parabola. 1, 2, 3, 4. Pero in our case, tatlo lang. So, ganito yung pwede maging form ng graph nila. Okay? Okay. So, I think that's it for this video. Solving systems of nonlinear equations. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to. At maraming salamat sa panunood.